grab a drink, use the bathroom, heroically cancel someone online. I can do this all day. The Comics Plus Podcast is back. Comics Plus, the podcast, side three. B. Oh, B. I was, I was oh, trying sorry. to say side B, but it's okay. It's okay. Side B. Did your three. audience even know what side B is? We <laughs> talked about it. If you watched yeah, the did, last episode, you probably should. But uh, nevertheless, it's side B of episode three. Okay. Revenge of the sex. There you go. That's that's where we're going here. Good job. Um, Good job. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Radley. Yes. I watch porn. Okay. Do you watch porn? Yes. Do you I watch with a girlfriend, actually. That's actually yeah. good. That's yeah. really good. good for you guys. You know? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You don't watch porn with a girlfriend? I, I mean, I do also. Okay. Yeah, right, okay. Like, please, I'm, I'm a committed yeah, man. Yeah. Like, you You're know. like, make me nervous there for a minute. No, no, yeah. of course. Okay. Those who watch right. together, do it together. You know, yeah. it's instructional yeah. stuff. So. Yeah. yeah. How about Japanese porn? Of course. Of course, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, Atari Vision and all that, you know, mosaic, but like. Oh, okay. Does yeah. that bother you? Atari, Atari Vision. Vision. Uh, that's the way. Yeah, yeah. So everything's mosaic in Japan. So, um, uh, you know, you have to leave it up to your imagination. But I kind of like the mosaic, to be honest. Like, the last thing I want to see is, like, a cyst or something, like a pupil, like, you know. For for Blu-ray porn is crazy, bro. Yeah, no, it is. It is. It that, is. It, like, you can see everything. Everything. So you can see cysts and all that stuff? And yeah, you can. Maybe. Damn, okay. You got to have an eye for time. All right. Okay. <laughs> so, Damn, anyways. Talent. Anyways. Yeah. Um, and we're going to get right into this. Yeah. Um, guys, it is my pleasure Real for the life. podcast. This is the reason <laughs> I even started this podcast. I was actually at... Um, reason? Yeah, there's a reason. Yeah? Like, okay. like, I, I, like, I met this guy. That I was at an industry party. My boy Dionysus, who was in the first uh, episode right. of the podcast, mm-hmm. uh, he, in, he introduced me to this um, industry party and everything. And um, there's uh, one black dude, brother, he came up to me. And he's like, Agasan. I'm like, oh shit. Uh, he's like, I'm a big fan of yours. And I'm like, oh, that's cool, that's cool. And then I was yeah. like, uh, I was like, have you been on TV before? Have I seen you before? <laughs> and he's like, uh, maybe, maybe. And he just yeah. walks away. And I'm just like, who the fuck was I? I know I've seen this guy. I was like, did I hang out with him in Los Angeles? Is he an actor in Los Angeles? I'm, but I feel like I've seen him on Netflix, like on my desktop or something like Why that. Why did your mind go to Los Angeles, for? <laughs> because I know a lot of black guys with muscles in Los Angeles. All right. That's all. Like, well, I shouldn't really be doing it like that, but in short, <laughs> in short it's the month, you know, it's the month. That, yeah, that guy yeah, is the month, right? Well, we're going to, we're going to, I got to introduce him. I'm saying, this is such a long story, but anyways, at the end of the day, I was like, wait a second, wait a second. I know this guy. You're a fan of my work. I'm a fan of your work. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me go ahead and introduce to you Vic A.K.A. Michael, mm-hmm. A.K.A. Magnum. <laughs> Thanks, guys. How you doing, man? Doing all right, man. Thanks for having me. Hey, man. I appreciate it. It was a long-winded intro, but it's, it's, good, it's all good. Yeah. It was really good. I yeah. The, and so here's the thing mm-hmm. with that little story mm-hmm. is it was bothering me that entire night. Like yeah. I was just like, dude, I know this dude, but I I can't put it on my. But I I feel like I've seen him. I have a friend yeah. who looks like a very famous adult. Uh, actress, yeah. adult video actress. Right, right. She really looks like her, and I was just like, "Did I meet him with her?" And I was <laughs> like, "You know, I couldn't put it together." And then finally, I was like, "I thought about it, and it was a uh, Honoko Mier Hara." Mm. And the title of this video mm. is actually called. I wrote it down because it's very hard to say. Oh, shit, it was a uh, Kyomu no Nihonjin Zuma Netorare. Eso ego no sensei home party, which in Jap- uh, English roughly translates to Japanese wife of big tits sleeping picture. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wife? Wire? Wife. A wife? wife? Yeah, wife? sleeping wife picture wife, yeah. Is that the entire title? That's the entire title. Sleeping picture <laughs> wife. I was like, what? Whoa, <laughs> there's sensei in here. Why there's no teacher? No, okay. they don't re- they don't respect English teachers anywhere. Yeah. Okay. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> All right. So yeah. Okay. Amazing. So yeah, but it's one of my favorites, but now it's I, I can't watch that ever again. Thank you very much. 
Yeah, and it's, it's, no one's looking. It's okay. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> no, it's not okay for me. Like I can't. I'm like, yeah, Wu Tang Clan. Yeah. yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> and then I'm just, oh damn it! I know this guy now. Like that's not cool. Yeah. Um, you so, ruined his best porn. You know? he that really happens a did, lot, honestly. Man. Yeah. <laughs> he really. Yeah, he said it. That happens, happens a lot. Yeah. So, uh, it's, it's like <laughs> so yeah. Vic, tell us. Yeah. You know, we know a bit about you, and yeah. it's funny because everywhere I introduce you mm. to people. Everybody, I mention your name. I'm like, okay, Vic is coming by. Vic yeah. is coming by. And they're like, oh, I wonder if I've seen him before. And then the moment you came in here, yeah. the staff yeah. met you. Yeah. When you went out to get a cigarette, they're like, oh, by the way, I recognize him. <laughs> I recognize him now. Like, I know him. Now. I know that dick anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not like you took your dick out in front of him. Well, like, we can't yeah. even see it, though. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> First we're, first, first we're gonna need to mosaic your yeah, dick, you and go. then we'll recognize right, it. That's right, how it works. So, right. um, I mean, tell us, I guess, how did this all begin for you? Man, me? so, my ex-girlfriend, and you know, actually, I started when I was in the army. Okay. Not, yeah, I used to be in the army, right? And uh, when I started, I was dating this girl, and she used to be a porn actress. And when I met her at the time, I had no idea. She was retired porn actress, right? And then one day, you know, we was having sex, and she's like, you know, Vic, you ever thought about becoming a porn star? I was like, what? <laughs> like, like, seriously? Damn. I'm thinking, like, you know, I think every kid, when they're around, like, maybe 13, 14, watching porn for the first time, I'm like, yeah. man, I want to do that, right? Is this, like, post-coitus? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm yeah, like, coitus That's, like, the <laughs> best compliment you could ever get. Oh, my God, you're so good. Have you ever thought about doing being a porn star? You're that good. I'm not saying it like that, but, like, okay. and then she divulged to me, like, yeah, you know, I used to be an actress. I was like, get out of here. Are you serious, you know? And uh, so, yeah, eventually I, I started, when I started, um, I started doing like maybe like one or two here and there. My first movie was terrible. Now, you're saying this was, a, not, uh, just to be clear, yeah. you're, this was when uh, post-Army, right? Uh, a little bit in between. It was uh, a little bit in between. Matter. Okay. But was this matter. in Japan? In or, Japan. Okay. Yeah, I've never done porn in America. Nor okay. Would I, you know, so, you were, so you were out here like Yokohama or Yokosuka or something like that. It was, it was right? Somewhere, somewhere around there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, um... My first movie, that was so terrible, man. My first three movies, but the first one, I will never, ever forget. Okay. My first movie, it was me, two Japanese women, nice bodies, no curvy, mm. tits, ass, mm. and me and uh, seven other black guys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first movie ever. Man, the shock. The yeah. shock, bro. Really? Oh, my God, yeah. You know, you know you're so hesitant. You, first of all, you can be the king of your castle in right. your home, you're right? True. Your environment, right? Yeah. And when you're in that arena, man, it is just unbelievable. So, uh, yeah, you're just nervous. You're like, the cameras are so close. There's so uh, many people on set. People are watching. And you're not yeah. used to that, really. Right. You know, even if you are, say, into voyeurism, like swing your clubs and things like that, it's really different when there's a script and everything's being dictated to you how to fuck. And I'm sorry, how to no, do you're it. No, you're right. No, okay, you're right. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, yeah, 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 age restricted. Yeah, okay, yeah, no, it's right. all good. Yeah. You know I'm saying? How to do it and everything yeah. like that. Imagine that, right? <laughs> so I remember a scene vividly where um, the woman was laying down and I went to go reach for a titty, right? And as I was going, someone else reached in. I was like, oh, okay, go ahead. My bad, my bad. Go ahead. No, no, go. Do you, do you. And I'm asking the girl, is it okay? Can I, can I touch? You know, I had no idea. I couldn't even get hard. Honestly. I was wondering about that because I think that's the biggest thing is like mm. performance issues like like you said when you're kind of like so your first videos or so was that a problem? Uh, yeah, of course, you know, because right. it, you know, it's amazing. Everything is all in your mind pretty right. much more or less, right? Right. And um, yeah, you know, the, first, the actually what made me stay in it was because I was, uh, I, you know, sometimes I can be too competitive and I told myself, no, I can do this. I'm going to show them this, man. I was so pissed. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wanted to be better than all those guys after Did you that. get, like, a mirror and just you were just self out? <laughs> you are the best. You are amazing. You can do this. I see. I wait, see. wait a minute. Why were you pissed? Well, because, you know, you couldn't perform. Couldn't even get hard. Right. Oh. You know what I'm saying? And then, it, you know, your man pride, I guess you call it. You right. know what I'm okay. saying? So, the guy who taught me how to do it on camera, I, you know, he sat me down. He's like, you know, you got a lot of potential. And he's like, I'm going to show you how to find your happy place. More or less, that's what he called it. Hold on, I need to take some notes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? So, like, yeah, I think this, was this the director? Or? No, this was, uh, at the time, he was the uh, number one foreign actor. Yeah. Okay. Cool, cool guy. You know what I'm saying? He wears glasses, black guy. Has a little, like, you know, little beanie cap he wears and stuff. But, uh... <laughs> Yeah, you probably seen them all. <laughs> He's got the Uggs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Cool cat. Yeah, 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 but yeah, he was yeah. the one who taught me how, man. You know what I'm saying? More or less to try to block everything out, you know what I'm saying? And how to do this on camera and how to have sex on camera. 
versus say real life. Damn, it's like Obi Wan. Yeah, he was and Luke basically. He basically yeah. was man. You know, he was my Obi Wan man. Obi Wan Banona. Yeah. So. I'm saying or Yoda. This kid's good enough. Yeah, yeah. Anakin. Hard to right? right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have the high road. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's okay. how everything happened. And you know, after that, I started to become better. And then one day, so you know, how I have so many stage names, uh, because nobody cared what my name was back then. You were just an extra guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. you, over there, go over there. But um, once I started getting better, uh, they started to take notice. And one of the directors was like, hey, what's your name, by the way, right? And I didn't know what to say. I was like, shit, I wasn't prepared for this. So one of the actors was like, yo, his name is Magnum. That's his name, Magnum. And that's how I got the name. I've always hated that name, by the way. Magnum Skywalker. Yeah, right. What? <laughs> Why do you think he said Magnum? I don't know. Well, because of this magma, the size of the member, but still, it was kind of cheesy. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? I didn't think it was going to I stick. mean, the fact that a dude actually gave you, christened you with that name. <laughs> yeah, I know. That speaks volumes. He's Magnum because he's big like that, bro. <laughs> and I was like, and that was the way your story. Yeah. Basically, yeah. That was your origin story. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Wow. When I'm walking away, they're like, hey, what's your name, kid? <laughs> It's like, Magnum. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Magnum Skywalker. <laughs> oh my god. That's how it happened. Man. So you are so you are now like the number one yeah. uh male adult actor in Japan, right? Uh yes. Number course. one, yeah, really. It's crazy. You know, wow. it's surreal and like even I sometimes like damn. That's, that's amazing. Yeah, man. It's when did and how long has that kind of streak yeah, been I, going on? Um man, I have been doing this now for about eight years maybe. Okay. Time goes by so fast, and uh, I say within the last mm, two years. Okay. I'll say last two years. Maybe. And how how does how does that rank? Like uh, uh, in terms of like how many titles are sold? Well, no. Or? So as a foreigner, I'm only going to be limited more or less to how many movies I can do. So Japanese actors, the guys, right? Then there's just more opportunities for them because the women, not every woman, is up for interracial sex. You know, so it you know it depends. So of course they're going to get more work per se. But I just, it's just more what directors say to me, things like that. They go by also DVD sales. Uh, they have a ranking, actually. Um, it's always for the women. It's always tailored for the model, the actors. Of course. And stuff like that. Right. But as a black actor, you say, for example, there's this one website, uh, RIT, and like every month is about maybe like 270,000 videos. And I've had like number one video several times. So they go by that, things like that. Okay. As far as ranking goes. Okay, okay, okay. But yeah, man. The Japanese actors, though, of course, they get more opportunities because right. Japanese, and not every woman, not every woman wants to do an interracial scene. So. Right. Wow. Wow. Okay. 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 So that's how I got started, and that's so mm -hmm. how it's ranked and such. Because you know, I, I interviewed uh, Lala Kudo mm -hmm. the other day, and then you're like, oh yeah, you know, we've uh, worked together and everything, and I was just like, okay, I'm not gonna really get into that one, and then um, I actually ran into. Possibly an old friend of yours, Nishikun, as well. Uh, yes, yes, yes. And he uh, spoke highly of you okay, as I well. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was just like, you know, and in my in my head, I'm getting all these like R34, sort of rule 34 images and such of like, okay, when you guys say you work together, how would like, I'm thinking to myself, like, some sort of like X Men Avengers team up where you, <laughs> you know, you're the big guy, and you're like, Kevin Ball! He's like, uh, he's like <laughs> yeah, you know, so. For those that don't know what I'm talking about, just leave the joke. Yeah. 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 Paul Over. Yeah, I got it. It's okay, sound guy. You can laugh at that one. It's all good. We got the sound guy like cracking up right here, and the 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 heat is on right now. Uh, we're we're dying. Yeah, about that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but no, 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 no. So, um, well, let's stick on that topic. Actually, is the issues with uh, racism? Like, mm. I. I shy away from bringing this up mm -hmm. as a topic because I don't like any sort of black actor always being to being referred to by their race, by yeah. their color. But it would be uh, behoove it would be irresponsible of me not to talk mm -hmm. about it. Of course, yeah. In the world, in this world of a very uh, homogenistic. Am I saying that right? Homogenistic? Close enough. One race, right? <laughs> I don't know. Homogenized? Uh, homogenized. Yeah, I think it's a yeah, very homogenized uh, culture, which mm. is Japan. Mm. Uh, being in this industry, being one of the num being the number one adult male actor, what kinds of forms of racism did you encounter before? And has that changed? Because as we know, Japan, you know, it is kind of a fetish. BBC, mm. the whole thing of small Japanese girl, big Japanese uh, black uh, guy, mm. is something that people are definitely interested to see. So, does 
Have you had trials and tribulations because of your race that hold you back, or does it actually advance you more? Um, I mean, well, obviously, yes, a niche, but, you know, being black, of course, you know, so here's my thing. Yes, uh, are there, is there racism? Yeah, but not like what you think, like not like in America, per se, right? No one's throwing out N-word around or anything like that, right? Um, there are stereotypes, of course, and sometimes you will get typecasted. You know, and stereotypes, you know, I don't even look at those necessarily as a bad thing. It's maybe just them not knowing, having an opportunity to talk to someone like a foreigner or a black guy, you know what I'm saying, in particular. So they just make assumptions, you know, based off of things that they don't know about. But then it's my job to try to teach them and educate them. And hopefully they're receptive to that. Right. So and this is in general, like, is, are you saying the, the end, like, in the industry, within the, the writers? Oh, uh, well, it goes everyone. 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 So, okay. you know, a best example, right? So there'll be times, mostly all the time when I'm doing a movie with a girl, right? 98% of the time, it's the first time with the foreigner, first time with the black guy. So she's going to be nervous, right? Even though she's a professional, you know, uh, she's going to be nervous. And I know she's nervous. So I'll ask her questions to try to soften her up. I'll say, oh, is this your first time with the Jap or a black guy? And she'll say, yes, right, of course, right? And I say, don't of worry. Of course. I know, right? <laughs> right? And then I'll say, yeah, you know, baby, it's my first time with Japanese, too. And she looks, right? And she'll laugh, like, giggle like that, right? I'm just joking. With you. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> You know, and then after that, I'll just ask her, like, what are her hobbies and other things outside of the realm of sex? Just to try to get her mind off of it, right? And then I always try to tell her, like, I understand there's a script and the director, they have an image of what they want and they're going to dictate to us how they want us to do it on camera and stuff like that. As far as, like, you know, how forcefully, how strong sometimes. But I tell her, you know, look, it's me and you, we're a team, okay? And um, I do this intentionally because when we're about to do it, like, we're sitting on the couch, we're sitting on the bed, the director, so I was like... Oh man, got it so good. Okay, you got a big dick. Are you good? His dick is big. I'm like, man, you're not helping. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, you know, and it's not even that it's big, like, really. Like, yeah, yeah. they make it seem like it's a fucking baseball bat, right? Like, yeah. come on, man. It's like, you know what I mean? Like, I get it, I get it, I get yeah, it. But like, like, the director is more interested in you than the actual girl. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah. And uh, so things like that. Um, as far as races are going, I had a scene one time. Um, I was supposed to do this movie, unbeknownst to me, right? And uh, they canceled the movie because the model, uh, she said she didn't want to do it right. But then later, she reached out to me, right? You know, started talking to me on Instagram. The model. Uh, the model, actually. Yeah. yeah, you know, she was a fan. No, we say model. The yeah. actress. The actress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She she was a, yeah, the one that was uh, approached to do the movie. And uh, so she reached out to me on Instagram. And it was, hey, you know, I'm a fan. Nice to meet you. You know what I'm saying? I was supposed to do a movie with you. So we just ended up casual talking. Nothing sex related or anything like that, right? And then she'd say, hey, you know, to, to be honest with you, to tell you the truth, um, it's funny, right? So she has a boyfriend. Her boyfriend, she told me, is racist, right? I was like, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I was like, well, at least you're pretty cool to talk to, right? And she'd go, yeah, talking is okay, but, you know, they asked me to do this movie with you, and I just didn't feel comfortable doing an interracial scene, you know? So I turned it down, but I didn't tell them that's the reason why, you know? She just told them another reason why she couldn't do it I refused to do the movie. So I told her, you know, that's fine. You know, everyone has a preference. So I don't take offense to that. So, I mean, and then everyone does have a preference. So it's not for everybody. You know? Okay. So, but I've never had anyone. Oh, so it's like, it's, it was a polite racism. Polite racism. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't even, wow. Okay. But I don't even want to call it racism just because someone doesn't right. want to sleep with you. Right, more or right, less. right. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, so I've never had anyone, like I said, disrespected me on the camera set. The crew has always been nice. Um, what I don't like, though, is when we do the rape movies, right? How okay. we know, I understand it's acting, but I don't like how they, they portray. So right. when I first started doing this, that's all black actors were just limited to doing. Right. I it's, literally would see videos yeah. where you would just be like, you and, Home invasion. Yeah, home invasion. Yo, yo, what's up, mommy? Yo, what's up? Yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> Picking bitches up, throwing them in the van. Literally. They'd yeah. done a movie like that. They were on the streets in Tokyo, and they grabbed this woman, yep. the actress, of yep. course. And people are at the bicycle. They're like, what the fuck is going on? And they grabbed this lady and threw her in the van. And they were like, go, go, go. You know, stuff like that. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, it'd be some weird shit where you'd be like, you're like it's like a base, like, like I think, I think you, you know where I'm going with this. Okay, so the, uh, like, if, uh, maybe I'll tell the whole story, but the short plot was like, it's a baseball manager. Okay. Um, and he has, he recruited a bunch of black guys to be on the team so they can finally win the Japanese League baseball game. And then, he, but he treats them like terribly. And so then the basketball guy, the baseball guys go and grab his wife, picks her ass up. They cut the scene. They end up in a dungeon somehow. What? 
Because every black guy it seems has like a dungeon. Yeah, a, a and they pick lair. her up and throw her in there, and then they oh. go to town on her. Funny thing enough is, I was actually the person that uh, helped translate the pitch of that movie. Oh, man. So my when I when I first started as an English teacher, yeah. my uh, student was a producer of making those videos, oh. but he needed to talk to um, a black guy <laughs> over the phone, and you know I had to write the script for him. And I was just like, yeah. okay, so here's what you would do. And so we had to do role. We here we are at a Syzeria doing role play, <laughs> and he's like, hello, this is Sakamoto from ABC Company. And he's like, hey, and I'm like, hey, how are you doing, man? What's going on? And he's like, <laughs> uh, yes, definitely, fine, good, thank you, okay. And so we would want you to be in our next video, and he's like, well, what do I have to do? Um, so you will, um, you will meet at a girl at a hotel, and uh, you will rape her. I'm like. Well, damn. I mean, okay. Can, can you yeah. describe what this guy looked like? <laughs> the, um, you know, the typical salary man. I mean, he was. He, was he, he sound, you make him sound very timid and like I kind of. I mean, I, I mean, I, he, no, he was just. This was the way. This was. This was the way. Right. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then later, like a month later or two months later, he's like, "Oh, so thank you, Aka Sensei. Um, so uh, here's the video." <laughs> And I'm like, oh my god! And I think I saw Obi Wan in that video. Yeah, there. yeah, because it wasn't yeah. me at the time, so yeah. it must have been him. Yeah, sure yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, I get it. I get it. So, so that is all a character then. Yeah. So my my biggest complaint, man. You know, I'm very thankful for everything that I have and the opportunities that I've gotten. You know, in the in this industry and everything I've achieved. But my one gripe is like every time there seems like there's I shouldn't say every time, but most of the time when there's an interracial movie, it always seems that we have to. Is forced on the girl. So the girl's like, oh, no, I really don't want it. When it's with the interracial. I really want to see a movie where she's actually, like, more receptive to it, open, passionate, romantic, something something more, you know, rather than, yo, bitch, come here, girl, give me, give me them panties. Ah. You know, just you want, something a little different. You want the girl to be a dom. Oh, yeah. I want the girl to, yeah, I want it to be where it's not so more, like, you know, you know. I think every coming. Japanese guy would kind of like that <laughs> in general, right? You know what? I got a lot. You of, want the La La Land of porn, I guess. You know, I want it all, right? <laughs> <laughs> you want the La La Land of porn. What the hell is the La La Land of porn? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, Rule 34. Maybe somebody nobody knows what there's that is. Rule 34, there's a porn for everything. Yeah. yeah oh, that's what everything. we're talking about. Yeah, if okay. it exists, there's a porn for everything. Right. Yeah, okay. yeah, so, yeah, yeah. No, I get, I, so I get that you do make a very good point because I do see, like, usually. Like I think it's gotten better. Oh, you know, it's gotten better. It's now. gotten better. It's gotten I mean, tremendously back, better since back then. Back in the days, all yeah. it was was like everybody, all the black dudes were yeah. wearing Uggs with socks on. Yes, it's gotten t- with the dark glasses. Yes, and then the do rag, and you know, like you know, even the girls that were kind of interested in America. I remember mm-hmm. there was this one video where she wanted to be a dancer or something, and then she went to Santa Monica and she ended up having too much to drink and gets, I you know. This oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just the one with Michael Moore. <laughs> what? What? Wait, it's, there's, yeah. there's one with like a fake Michael Moore in it. And like, he, he never saw this? No, okay. no, her, her name, I don't even remember her name, but she was supposed to be like a hip hop dancer and her okay. dancing was terrible. But she went to Santa Monica right. and she got a uh, little too much to drink. She got a train run on her by two black guys, okay. and then she ends up going back. Um, and he's smiling, but he's like, "Oh, well, it's probably that one too." Um, <laughs> but this, no, the, likes your story The best part about this, the, I mean, it's not the best, yeah. but it was also best. She goes back to Japan, mm-hmm. confessed to her boyfriend that she was gang banged or whatever, and then, as uh, as Vic is saying, look. It's suddenly, home invasion. Hey, yo, what's up, Suzuki? <laughs> yeah. I loved you so much. We followed you to Japan. Hey, bro. And then, so they're grabbing, the, they grab the boyfriend's uh, neck and everything. He's like, no, 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 no. And he's just watching. And then, I the think best, I was in that movie, actually. Yeah, the best line was after one of you guys finished in the girl, yeah. he's like, oh, oh, and he grabs the guy and he's like, Yo, look at my kids, nigga. Look at my kids. You like that. You like that. And then they start shoving his face. Yeah. He doesn't understand anything, but he's just like, and he's just like, taste my kids, nigga. Taste my kids. Like that. Academy Award, five stars. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was great. Yeah. It was great. Oh, um, <laughs> was this one of the actor's ideas? Or do you think yes. Okay. Is it in both? Oh, yes. Okay. Actually, it is, man. Because, uh, man, we try to make it fun. It's, uh, it's okay. so mundane. You know, the script is like, you know, we're going to go outlandish with it as much as we can. Then. Really? But yeah, you know. So there's a lot of creative freedom. Uh, more or less, yes. <laughs> I like how you said that, yeah. <laughs> is there any it's a movie, nice way to say it. Yeah. Is there any yeah. movie that you felt has been improved, but you, because you like stepped, stepped up and you just talked to, brought the director to the side and you're like, look, this is good, but I could make it great if we do this. And then the entire story just I think got, the best movies I do are the ones where the directors, you know, they give me freestyle. So like um, some directors, you know, they're so micromanaged and there's like, okay, this is how much time you're going to do it for like 45 minutes, right? These are the positions we want you to do first. One, two, three, four, five, right? And along the way, they'll say cut. And then they'll talk to the actress and myself, right? And then they'll go, go action. So now you got to get back up again, start again. You know, and it's a whole stop and go thing. I prefer if they just say, okay, look, give us 45 minutes. You know, my thing is like, okay, look, it's their job to buy the groceries. And after that, get the fuck out my kitchen. Let me cook. And those are the best movies. Makes I think. sense. You know what I'm saying? For the back, for myself and the actress, because you know you get that chemistry. Her reaction is real. Then you know I make try to make my job is try to make her forget the cameras there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So then I, you know I can make her become more emerged in the scene, and it just makes a better product overall. In ge- in general, is it actually usually a one scene type of thing, or is it just very easy? Uh, nicely edited for shooting seems, yeah oh no the shooting we start at nine o'clock usually and we finish around like 10 or 11 at night yeah it's all really day. yeah and so the final product is just very carefully you, edited yeah. because it seems like it's always just one scene half the mm-hmm. time or generally it depends on the video but you know sometimes they'll cut to the husband watching a dvd mm. or something and be like no and i'm like <laughs> the adobe <laughs> editor in me is like that's some nice editing right there. That's a cheat, but okay. Yeah, but it is. It's really nicely edited afterwards, and okay. everything is done and stuff That's like so that. Interesting. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty good how they do it. You know, I it's, never, I never can last the whole scene, so it's like I'm always just like, okay, skim. Okay, maybe I can bring you on a second. Yes, oh my god. Yeah, I think I can do that. Road trip. Wait, what's yeah. that? Yeah, we're going. What did, what did we're going yeah, I think I can bring you now. I think I've gotten to a point okay. now where I can do that. I've done, you know what? A funny story. So uh, one of my homeboys, man. If he's watching, if he sees this episode, he knows who I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. So we are uh, at the studio, right? And I just brought him along. I was like, you want to come in? Go ahead. And he loves porn. So we get to the studio, right? You know what I'm saying? And um, the girl, nice tits, at the boom. You know what I'm saying? Nice, right? <laughs> He's quivering. It is, man. She was nice, man. And the director was if like. Because he says it, I believe it. Yeah. And the director, you know, yeah. he sees my guy and he's like, hey, man, uh, does your friend want to do a scene? You know, we'll pay him like, I don't know, some month for a blowjob. And so I'm like, so all he has to do is sit there, get a blowjob, gets paid someone. Wow. Right? And uh, my friend. <laughs> this podcast what? is about to pay for itself. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So I tell my friend, I asked my friend, hey, the director asked if you want to get a blowjob. You know, they pay you money for a yeah. blowjob. You know, you just got to sit there and the girl, she's going to give you a blowjob, right? And man, my friend was like, because before he was asking me to be in a movie. You know, and it was I like a golden ticket. Not even that. It was the scene out of Eighth Mile where B wow. Rabbit's on the stage and he starts <laughs> choking. You know what I'm saying? Time's up over now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he was like, right now? I'm like, yeah, right now. <laughs> and he's like, yo, dude. He's like, I can't do it, man. And I'm like, what's up? What happened? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Smile spaghetti all over his shirt. And I'm like, what happened? And he's like, I didn't shave. I'm like, what? Uh, what you talking about, man? Yo, oh, man, my shit like a jungle down there. I'm like, nobody cares. We're in Japan. And it's you know mosaic, saying? yeah. And it's mosaic. Like, nobody gonna know. But he said he couldn't do it. I don't know what his stuff was looking like. It must have been something like, you know. Damn. But uh, yeah, he didn't do it. Damn. Yeah, man. And then what made it even worse, I tell the director, I'm like, yeah, sorry, man. Uh, my friend said he can't do it. He's not gonna do it, right? And the director, Japanese dude, he's like, is your friend gay? <laughs> I was like, I was like I was like, chill, chill. I was like, no, no, he's not gay. He's just not, you know, he's not comfortable right now. You know, he's, yeah. you know, and so that was that, man, you know. Wow. And I understand, though, you know what I'm saying? It's like, when you're not ready, when that thing hits you, man, and then it's like, because guys ask me all the time, and I'll be in bars or clubs, and people come up and be like, hey, man, can you hook me up, dog? You know what I'm saying? And some, and I'm like, I'm always looking for talent, because 
man, there's like 10,000, I didn't even talk about 10,000 women in this industry. And there's a shortage, severe shortage of men, and even more so when it comes to foreign men. Right. So I'm at the point now where I don't care right. if it's white or black or Latino. I have a funny story about that too, man. Yeah, you know. So I mean, note people. to self, Radley, yeah. shave before our time, next okay. time meeting. Right. You know, just yeah, like making sure. Yeah. Um, Prerequisite. Yeah. <laughs> do you uh, do you actually have a favorite co-star that you've worked uh, with in the past? Man, you know, like yeah. Hmm. Okay, well, the first name that comes to mind, and I, I'm not trying to leave out hope. Right. There's a lot of women, you know what I'm saying, that have been really good actresses okay. and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? The chemistry has been amazing. Some who I don't even remember their names and stuff like that. But it's still, the chemistry is good. But if you ask me right now, the first name that popped in my head is uh, Nao Jinguji. Okay, Nao Jinguji. Okay. Mm, Jinguji okay. now, okay. man. The scene that her and I did together, that movie, man, that was epic. Do you remember the rough translation of what the name no, is? You know what? No, because the no, names no. are so long and obscure. Right. You know what I'm saying? With the titles of right. these like movies, it's like, what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, it's, if you want to look it up, it's going to be, because um, they have like a little DVD code. I believe it's right. uh, DASD 504. Okay, 504. All right. That scene. Writing that down. Yeah, yeah, boys, yeah, yeah. Like, boys okay. write it down. Yeah. Check out R18. Yeah. Yeah. The movie was. The, and all our yeah. viewers left now. The, the movie was fun, first of all. <laughs> stay here, stay here. We still got more. We got more. Right, right. Don't leave. But the, put us write, on it, on the, write it down. Put us, put us all in the background. Yeah. <laughs> keep, keep a tab open. Yeah. You know? no, no, yeah. Right. But the movie was fun. Like, my favorite movies I love doing are now the Homestay ones or the NTRs. You know, with the Niti Tori and whatever. Uh, those are funny. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I love the comedy, comedy, uh, comedic aspect of it. Yeah. I love doing those movies. You know okay. And those sell way more than yeah. the, the rape, yo, bitch, come here, girl, hey, yo, right. bitch. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Those movies right. don't even sell right. that much. But right. those ones, oh, man. They sell. Right. African guy comes in, school, oh, transfer student, bangs, wife accidentally, right. wife falls in love and leaves Japanese salary, man. Yeah. But those are fun. Yeah. yeah those are, but that one movie in particular, man, the sex was so good. Uh, the scene was so good. You know, of course, the crew is always silent, of course. But you could see, even afterwards, they were just like, yeah, yeah, that's some fucking. I remember. That's, there was, <laughs> that's some fucking. <laughs> that's like, hey. I remember just one video, um, one, you saw, showed me one behind the scenes thing where, mm. you know, I think you're banging somebody's wife or something. Mm. But the typical Japanese man comes in and he tries to get the wife away and you end up donkey kicking him <laughs> on the side. Like, <laughs> Like, get yeah. the fuck out of here, man. I'm busy. Leonidas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is NTR. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember that one, man. It was, it was cool. Okay, so that was one of your favorite things. So what is the average time period for? Because, you know, something I was uh, very interested in. You gave me, our because I asked you, do you have an IMDb uh, so I can check out all the titles that you've worked on? And I can bring that up. And you sent me a link to R18. And I'm just like, interesting enough. Oh, as you said, it's catered to the female actresses, so I can find right. the rankings and the uh, some of the titles, but none of the male actors are no, actually there listed isn't, there. Unfortunately. Um, but this actual title that I know you the most from, that's actually not even available anymore because there's a time period on uh, now. Uh, there was a law that was passed about uh, I want to say three years ago mm -hmm. that women uh, that are in the industry can actually request titles to be taken off the market right. after I believe five years or so and yeah so, um, because the, the and I was I, I saw the lifespan of female actresses is about five years or so for male actors a longer okay. much much longer like it astonishes me like some of these guys the actors that are in this industry how long they have been doing it for I don't, I don't know if I can do that and it's like 20 years some of them it's like 20 fucking years <laughs> Shit. You know right. what I'm saying? 15 years. I tip my hat off to these guys, man. You know these what I'm are mostly the actors or the crew? Or? For the actors. You know what I'm no, saying? Like the, the, the actors, yeah. The, you know, it is unbelievable, man. I mean, because it affects your personal life. No, of course. Your porn, right? You know? Right. Like How you does got, it affect your well, personal life? Well, in the sense of where, okay, so if I have a movie, I have this rule. This was handed to me by Obi Wan. Right? Okay. Okay. You know, and um, at least no less than two days prior to a movie, okay, in my personal life, oh, I will wow. not have sex, right? So you have to plan around that. I can't imagine doing that. And, like, and you're a Japanese actor. That means you're going to get a higher volume of movies, right? Sure. You know what I'm saying? Because there's just more opportunities for you, right? So I'm like, man, most of these actresses and actors and their private, the ones that I've spoken to, you know, they usually don't have sex. 
They usually don't. In their private life. In their life. private life. Right. In their private Because life. it's a business for them, basically. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? The coldest line I've ever been told, man, by one of my friends, man. She's an actress. And uh, she told me, Vic, not to me, you know, so we were just out, you know, having dinner and stuff. We were talking about our personal lives and stuff like that, girlfriends, boyfriends. And she was like, Vic, I don't fuck for free. I was like, damn, that was cold. That was cold. You know what I mean? And then there's another actress, the same thing too. Like, you know, a lot of actresses, you know, and it's not even that fact that they don't fuck for free. It's just that they feel like they get enough good sex, you know, quote unquote good sex on camera that they just don't want to. Off I see. And then sometimes also just a hassle. You know, I like I know one girl, um, she had a boyfriend and they broke up because he was always asking her to do stuff that he would see in camera. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> and she didn't like doing any of that stuff on camera. You know what I'm saying? Um, do, do you feel like, uh, is it a big difference? Does it mean more when you have sex privately? Oh yeah, definitely. So still, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the way I keep that hunger, I try to keep the two right. separate. You know what I'm saying? So work is work. And, uh, you know, because work you're paying attention to, how much time you got left, off-camera cues from the director, there's a guy with the light, you know what I'm saying? Uh, there's a guy that has a cup of lotion, you know what I'm saying? So every time you need lotion, you got to be cognizant of where he is, you got your hand out there. Um, most of the time when I'm having sex, I'm looking at the cameraman, you know what I'm saying? Because I got to be in sync with him, you know? So hopefully you guys got a good cameraman that you've worked with a couple times. And even if you don't, you can still work around it, you know what I'm saying? Because like... I'm like, guy, I'm giving you all these angles here, you know what I'm saying? Get around to it, you know? But there's, man, there's some really good cameramen that I've worked with, you know? And we just know. So most of the time, it's weird, man, surreal. You know, so you're having sex with the girl, but you're looking at the cameraman like, you good? You got this? You good? You know, things like really? that. Really? Right, background. it's unreal. Yeah. Uh, tell, me, uh, tell everybody about the blowjob angle. Oh, my God. That one made me laugh so, so much, yeah. When guys come up to me and they approach me and they'll be like, yo, man, can you hook me up in the movies? I'm thinking about I want to do porn. I'm like, where? Okay, imagine this thing. All right, you're butt naked, right? And the girl's giving you a blowjob, right? And how do you think they give you that POV angle, you know? The guy, so you're naked, the girl's naked, she's sucking your dick, and there's a guy literally behind you, standing behind you, with his arms around you, right? With the camera, and the camera's big, so you have to lean back, like, and as you're leaning back, he's in your ear telling you, Iyo, daijubu, daijubu. It's okay, just lean back, just lean back. <laughs> And I'm like, well, pop, shut the fuck up, you know, because like, you can't look at the girl because the camera's right there. You don't I see you. I, I got you. I got you. I got you. You know, just whispering in your ear, man. And some of them are fucking with you too, man. You know what I'm saying? It got to the point now where nobody's coming into my happy zone, man. You can block wow. on anything. But you almost have to be like that in the sense, man. Wow. I mean, the good thing is they got drones now and they got like... Nah, they, bro, they, they got little wild. rigs that they can put around you or something like man, that. Man, nah, he is right... He is wow. right there. And he's like, it's okay, I got you. Just lean back. Just, lean back. <laughs> just like... Shh, shh, shh. You're not helping. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? Here's a side thing, because uh, some people don't really realize it, but uh, uh, Japanese people don't use deodorant. A good amount of them do mm. not. Mm. And a lot of men actually do not use it. Uh, um, d d does, mm, Is hygiene an issue on the set? Yeah, with the crew and things not like that. Mm -mm. Okay, really? Yeah, I mean, I know at least with the actors and actresses, never. And, but I would say even the, the sound guy, the camera guy, like... Um, not that I've seen. Like, those ADs, man, they work hard, man. Okay. I say That's good. Guys, their job, I, you know, I started doing AD recently because um, I want to learn. I want to make yeah. my own production yeah, 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 and stuff yeah. like that. So I want to learn how to do everything. The camera, the lighting. Wow. Yeah. And um, I got a lot of respect for those guys, man. I think their job is actually more tougher than the actors and actresses. Because they don't really get a break. So when we get our break, yeah. they're tearing down the yeah. scene. Yeah. And they're putting up the next scene. You know what I'm saying? And then they maybe get a little break. And then it's like, okay, let's go. Because everybody wants to get out early. Yeah. Because they most likely have to go to work to, uh, tomorrow early again anyways. And they get there. If they got to be there at 9, they got to probably be there at 7.30. You know what I'm saying? Or 8 o'clock at the, at the latest. Because they got to get the makeup for the actors. They got to set everything up, unpack the stuff. And then at the end, they got to pack up. Man, it is... I got it's a rough. lot of respect yeah. for ADs, man, for real. Uh, for roughly, uh, the average now, because I was seeing, I was shocked at the amount that porn actresses make nowadays. Like, it, it's not a lot. Um, of the 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 common ones. If you get into the yeah. superstardom and you get a label like a SOD or something like mm -hmm. that, yes. and you get a good agency that will really blow you up to make you the next um, That's true. AV queen. That's true. But if you're doing like a lot of the amateur stuff, then yeah, it's like three hundred, five hundred dollars. I was like, wow. Uh, for on average, how much would a male uh, foreigner make? 
Hmm. If somebody's out there thinking about joining the industry now, so I feel bad if I and can't. is it vis- visa sponsored? Actually, no, it's definitely not visa sponsored. Every guy, every guy, now we look word. Hold on, <laughs> it's definitely not visa sponsored. Okay, no, no, no. but um, prices vary on performance. Okay, so you know, and if you're new coming in, obviously they don't know if you're proven or not, if you're mm. gonna get hard mm-hmm, or not. Mm-hmm. Back in the day, the prices was a lot different. You know what I'm saying? More, in, or ba- ba- more. Yeah. Like back in the golden era. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you know when you know Obi Wan was working. Right? <laughs> but uh, now I will never look at Star Wars the same way right? again. <laughs> All right? Like I'm happy and I'm satisfied with my pay, but um, I think if you're first coming in now, you're probably gonna get maybe like one sex scene, maybe. 100 200 maybe maybe yeah dollars yeah oh, wow. yeah because um they don't know if, and, and that's you might not even get a sex scene it's definitely not going to get a one-on-one if things get rolling for you roughly mm. what would be the average pay or so like i, I, I guess the real question is is it really worth it in this day and age golden age time you know you could have a nice little place mm. for yourself but you know um if you want to do it as a side hustle, I think so. Wow. Yeah. So side hustle. Yeah. Only, really. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to be doing this forever. So, yeah, please, someone come and take my spot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Real talk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, like, you know, it's not a bad, you know, you like, you know, I've had a lot of opportunities. I had a lot of fun. Um, if someone wanted to try to make a career out of it, you could do it. But you would have to keep on doing this for a while. You have to be really good at it. You know what I'm saying? So in the beginning, you're, you know, you're going to be limited to just like a blowjob scene. You know, they pay you maybe a hundred bucks for a blowjob scene, right? Mm. You know what I'm saying? And then again, guys think, oh, all I gotta do is get hard. No, you know, there's most of the time we don't even come. We never come actually. I shouldn't say never. Ninety eight percent. Maybe I'm room yeah. porn for people. I'm sorry. No, no, but, no, no, I'm, no. I'm, I'm kind of generally yeah. curious because if you watch the Naked Director and everything, mm. there's a woman in the back that gets getting like yogurt and milk together, yeah. and you know yeah. does the shot. Yeah. Okay, like, good. Yeah. And it's already out. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, you know, it's fake cum. Giji, they call it, right? Because there's times when I do like four cum shots and people are like, damn, dog, how you pull that many times? Right? And I'm like, I don't, I don't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't. Wow. That's all, right? Really? Yeah. So, you know, it's all fake and everything like that. So when guys do it, you know, if you're going to do it, you know, just don't think it's going to be like a career. You know, it's not easy to do that. You know, it's not easy to do that. You know? mm. But as a side hustle, yeah, by all means, you know. Do you have any... um uh advice for people like in terms of nutrition training um you were talking about the whole mental thing like Mm. even if you're not in porn um you know some people might have that sort of issue of like trying to get in the zone or whatever like that yeah performance anxiety right yeah Um, you know even i sometimes before seeing and i've been doing this for a while even i still get a little not nervous per se, but you know, butterflies, if you want right, to call right, it, right? Just not really in it all the way. Yeah, 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 you know, and I, I try to, you know, coach myself, like, Vic, you can do this, man. You're the man, you can do this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I try to read over. But um, my best advice training helps a lot. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Of course, um, you know, testosterone, your thighs, you know what I'm saying? Working out. So that's part of the reason why I started lifting weights. Because in the beginning, man, I was kind of lazy. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. I was tired of front. I was lazy. Man. <laughs> Partying, money, always in Shinjuku and stuff. Just, you know. But then I started taking this career really serious. Then I was like, okay, now let me stop this. And then um, I started lifting weights, and man, my performance has gone up so much. It makes it so much easier. So lifting weights. Um, yeah, as far as diets, I'm not a vegetarian, but I do like to eat a lot of salads, anything greens, things like that. Uh, watermelon. Watermelon helps. Um, the antioxidants in watermelon are the same ones are common. Uh, some of them are found in uh, Viagra, so that helps as well. Uh, Learn something here today, folks. Yeah. <laughs> now, I've tried Write that down. Ding, ding, yeah, ding. Not, not, <laughs> Still keep that tab open. Learning half the battle. <laughs> right? But uh, yeah. I've tried Viagra, and uh, man, it's not for me. Like, I got a massive migraine headache from it. Wow, really? Yeah, to the point where I couldn't even do the scene. I was working with, really? uh, yeah, I was with Obi-Wan. Okay. And uh, I took a pill, and... Um, couldn't do it. Really? Yeah, man, I had a headache, bro. Yeah, we need a I like, how, I like how you refer to them as Obi-Wan. Right, we need yeah. a better name, uh, Obi-Wan, but uh, obi Boner or something yeah, like you know that. Yoda. Um, all right, so, and then, uh, uh, you know, outside of all of this yeah. uh, situation, because we are sweating up here, I do want to just throw this in, that yeah. you're a massive 
comic book fan. I mean, you're, you're, yeah. that's how you found me. You're a yeah. fan Marvel. of the channel. Marvel. You know, yeah. um, some of your, uh, have you actually, well, now let's keep it more PG. Well, this whole podcast is crazy, but I'm open. Um, no. <laughs> Um, here, I don't think they're here. This is an R-rated. Right. Movie. What? Yeah. What? What are some? Just 18 some, plus. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> some some of the movies you've been liking recently right, in so the what, comic industry. Oh, in the comic industry. Uh, well, right now I'm waiting for uh, Thor: Love and Thunder. That's yeah. the biggest one. Um, which we call it? Uh, the multiverse. Uh, Doctor Strange. Like that. <sighs> I've seen it twice. Okay. Um, twice. Yeah. Wow. yeah I've seen it in the theater, and the other one was online. I was like, you know, I'm like, yeah. It is really? all right. Really? Okay. It is okay. Okay. Uh, Spider Man, I'm into that. That was good. You know what I'm saying? That was a lot of fan, you know, fair. That was good. Um, my favorite, uh, Thor Ragnarok was also one of my favorite ones as well, too. So, okay. Yeah. Any uh, any movie that you like, you're really like, that hasn't really been announced that you would love to see? Anything? Oh, right now, just a new Thor coming out. Okay. You know okay. What I'm saying? Or just anything that they haven't announced. Oh. Uh, you want to see Squirrel Girl or. Uh, man, you know, I'm waiting for the X Men projects, man. <laughs> But X Men, you, know what I'm saying? you want the X Men? Definitely, I'm a big X Men fan. So, so let me ask you this: When you growing up, what was your like go to Marvel comic book? X Men. X Men. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who's your favorite? I, I know. I know everybody's gonna say Wolverine, but Wolverine. Beast. Definitely not Beast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not trying to make bro, a racist comment. I like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trying to say, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Gambit. Okay. Gambit was okay. my favorite one yeah. back then. You know what I'm saying? And, and then of course, you know, later Classic. eventually Wolverine and stuff like that. But yeah, Gambit was my guy. Really? Yeah, he was cool, man. Uh, damn, he was smooth. Okay. Ladies guy, smooth. Yeah. Yeah. Had accent, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn. Did you play the Super Nintendo game? Uh, I did. Yeah. Um, my favorite, though, was um, Marvel, was it Alliance? Yeah. Oh, uh, Ultimate yeah. Alliance. Ultimate Alliance. Yeah, 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 those yeah. were really good. Oh, those were great. Yeah. Those were great, man. I'm hoping they make a new one for the PS5 or something. They got the Marvel Avengers, but that one... There's too many bugs in it. Bill, yeah, it's yeah. ridiculous. Oh, so you're a bit of a, bit of a you know, I'm all a the knowledge on that stuff yeah, going on. Definitely okay. a gamer. Elden Ring? Been playing that? I haven't played Elden Ring. I, just, I tried, man, the game is too big, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, damn. Like, that's Magnum a- saying a game is too big. <laughs> that, that's a quote right there. Yeah, yeah. We should submit that over to Squaresoft right now. now I know how the girls feel. Right? Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. Frontsoft and just, right. oh, we're gonna, they're gonna put that on all the boxes. The game is too big. <laughs> when that DLC comes out, oh my god. Like your face on there. Oh yeah, no, they're, they're, you're gonna be at every Yodabashi camera just promoting it. Yeah, like, awesome, the man. game is too big. <laughs> like that, like that one porn actor with the fingers that he like sells a lot of like lotion or something like that, yeah. and he's always doing like this because yeah. he's supposed to have this like god finger. Yeah, right something there. like that. Yeah, like that. Um, all right. So what? Yeah. What about like Twitch or like YouTube? Have you ever thought like? Yeah. Are you just comfortable? No, I'm actually um, because I, I want to try to transition from acting and I want to try to do things more behind the camera. You know what I'm saying? Or directing. Directing. Or uh, just like advice forums or something where I want to do this one thing now on YouTube where it's going to be like drink champs, okay? okay? And where we're going to have a table, sit down with some drinks, and you know, it's going to be me, some other actors, actresses, and we just get down and we, have, we talk about some of the behind the scenes and funny incidences, stories. Because there's a lot of funny stuff oh, that goes sure. on on porn. It's not what everybody thinks. Those two hours are perfect. But let me tell you, those nine hours when we're at work, right, kid, there's a lot of comedic stuff that happens throughout the day. You know, or in between scenes too. Man. Yeah, so you know, stuff like that. And then we're gonna do like a little Q and A afterwards. So that's what I'm in the midst of working on right now. That's what I want to do. On a on YouTube then. On yeah, well, I haven't decided what platform I'm gonna do it. You know, you know I come to the professionals with you guys and talk to you guys about that. Right? Comics plus the <laughs> porn. <laughs> But that's what I want to do with man. Something Porno like after dark. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I get you. I get you. Mm-hmm. No, um, our sound guy, uh, Luke, has uh, cool. he's been asking me for like three weeks that he wants to go to the uh, the pool. You know the pool. The, ah, the, that one studio? Yep, yeah, the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That every, place. Every, every, everything, he's like, no, no, I don't need it. But he's like, you know. Uh, I know a guy that, that throws parties there, by the way. Really? Yes, yes, actually, yes, I do. It's not just a studio. You know, they rent it out and they throw parties. Right, there. right, because, uh, like, yeah, there's a lot There's a lot of, they shoot for many different things. And mm. there's, like, a, a, a Coyote Ugly type bar thing yeah, there. Yeah. There's a little pool the hall. Casino thing going yeah, on. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's over there in uh, Shinjuku, Shinjuku, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we could go there tonight. Let's make it happen. That's the <laughs> next hot tub. What do you, what do you think about that, uh, that old hot tub pool meta on Twitch? Are you familiar with all that? No, I'm not. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, see, Amarath is somebody uh, you, you need to check I'm, out. I'm check out uh, she's the queen of just sitting in a 
a hot tub. It was about two years ago. It was more popular, really? but like thousand, fourteen thousand people were just watching her in a pool, hoping Literally. that something fall off. Basically, yeah. right? No, no, no. Like, like it, I, I don't know what it is, but it's just like people just are just simping so hard, like, <laughs> and they're not doing anything sexual. Mm. They're literally fifty dollars. They'll write your their name on their head or something like that, that. and then that's it. It's nice promotion, but it's also like. Wow, kind of like, makes me wish I had titties and a pussy. You know, you know, you know I mean, like, damn. You know, honestly, honestly, yeah. Magnum hot tub streams, I could see it happening. <laughs> you're just literally just sitting and you're like, hey, yo, what up, y'all? Welcome to the channel, you know, and just see if the money rolls in, man. See if the money rolls see in. It works. Um, all right, well, uh, absolutely. So you got some new things in the works. Yeah. How can people find out about you? Um, they can hit me up on um, Instagram. And I do reply, uh, respond to fans. Okay. And I, mean, I am receptive to constructive criticism, though, too. I can't. Everyone. But I do every now and then. I do reach out and stuff what like that. What is the Instagram? Uh, Vic36140. Okay. That's your official thing. In it. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are not Okay. Yeah. I guess add them now, I guess. Uh, Jesus uh, Christ. Uh, both of them are Everybody else, you go do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Home. All right. Yeah, I do, man. I like, and I and that's your official stuff. website, then, at this point? Yeah. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Okay, yeah, definitely. We gotta get you talk, oh, talking talking to some people to. Get yeah, I gotta actual, get my meta game. You need up. a splash page or something. Yeah, you gotta yeah. get the meta game. Because yeah, Instagram is not the place. To no, be it's not only that. You yes. know, like, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, you go. I know that one. Right. Yeah, yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. For sure. Oh, I was at that place. Okay, so. <laughs> That's very nervous. Nice. Yeah. Right. Any anything else that you wanted to say for the people out there? Um, man, I appreciate everything, man. As far as like you know, saying the love and support, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the fans. And even when I'm out there in Tokyo, you know, what I'm saying if you see me out there, you know, you're always welcome to come up. Sometimes they do. You know, and then, you know, if I'm out there with my guys and I'm drinking or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I still take time to say, yo, thanks so much, man. I appreciate it. It's surreal. It never gets old and never gets boring. So yeah, do you see it. Do you see your time as an actor like uh, winding down or is it just still going for quite some time? That's a good question, man. Right. I see it's winding down. Oh, okay. yeah, I do. Like, uh, wow. not because I can't do it anymore, but uh, I really want to get... I want to start these other ventures, that's all. You know, try to do some other things with it, you know. Like, I'm very thankful. For yeah, I mean, I'm not going to lie. Like, some of these Twitch streamers be making a lot of money for doing just this. Like, people are making money sleeping. Literally being <laughs> filmed <laughs> sleeping. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah or the hot watching. tub streams. Like, yeah. it's like, it's just, it blew my mind seeing just how little that are less adult film actors are making now mm -hmm. because the softer stuff is, people want the softer stuff for some reason. To be, yeah. See, that's what I'm saying, man. You know, the days of, you know, Edamaccio and, you know, the hardcore porn and all those things, man, that, that's old, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, people have changed now, you know yeah. what I'm saying? More women watch porn yeah, yeah. now than before, right? You right know, yeah. They're fans also. And there's really nothing for them, really, you know what I'm saying? They don't want, you know, man, things have changed, man. No, you're right. You yeah. know, I have my friend who introduced me into VR porn mm -hmm. with the Oculus headsets mm -hmm. is a woman. Mm -hmm. And she was just like, yeah, it's cool, but, you know, I don't have a dick. So when some woman's sucking me off, I really can't imagine how that would ever feel. Right. So, <laughs> but, you know, they're not gonna, they're not really going to make a VR porn for women right. and she was kind of complaining about that i'm like well okay i can take those titles for you okay <laughs> like, you know, they like, could they should yeah you know what i'm saying yeah. and again you know you know you got the uh what's it lgbtq community yeah and i know there's porn out there for them you know what i'm saying i don't know about for women like lesbian but i'm sure there is something that but you don't really see anything you know what I'm saying, with the vr for example like that with lesbian porn or something or maybe right. gay porn. if there is i'm not knowledgeable of it but you know i got it i think your friend is right okay Vic, a.k.a. Michael, a.k.a. Magnum. I appreciate you coming yeah, through, man. Yeah, yeah, we finally made this happen. You. Thank you so much, guys. Make sure you check him out on his Instagram. Support the man. Support his new ventures. We're going to try to get him hooked up. The Comics Plus porn coming soon, probably. I don't know. I don't know. Don't know. That. Like, is this Vic plus Shibuya Kaho plus Lala? I'm like, I don't know what venture I'm headed, but as long as it pays these bills... <laughs> <laughs> Let's make it happen. Uh, guys, make sure you check out all the socials for everybody. Make sure you check out Radley. This yep, was good. Yep. We made it happen, you yep, know, yep, yep. as always. Uh, we are sweating like crazy yeah. right now. We will talk to you on the next Comics Plus podcast. Hey.
You've just witnessed the Comics Plus Podcast. No, God, please, no, no, no! Yeah, we're sorry about that. Emotional, damn it! Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and let's run a hype train on this bitch. Not remotely what I meant. But seriously, if you like what you heard here today, turn on and plug in all our socials, and we'll see you on the next Comics Plus podcast. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.